Wix and crypto have finally come together and you can now accept cryptocurrency payments on your Wix e-commerce website. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So people have been asking for this for quite some time for Wix to enable some type of payment gateway to accept cryptocurrency payment. And Wix has finally come through and has partnered with BitPay. So in this tutorial video, I'm gonna walk you through step one to step done on how to set up everything with BitPay and how to connect it to your Wix e-commerce website so you can begin accepting cryptocurrency payment. So if you're ready to get started, make sure to check the links in the description for timestamps and resources mentioned in this video. So let's begin. Welcome to my laptop. Let's begin. Now, in order to accept cryptocurrency payments with Wix, you have to be on one of their business and e-commerce plans right down here, secure online payments, which you don't get access to if you're over here on a website plan. So I'm assuming that you have a business and e-commerce plan or you're thinking of going with a business and e-commerce plan. Uh, so once you're ready, log into your account or sign up via uh, at Wix with an e-commerce plan. And this is going to be your dashboard. This is my live store right here. And to enable cryptocurrency payments, it's pretty simple. You navigate down here to where it says settings. Go ahead and click on that. Then we wanna come over here to accept payments. Then it's going to load up and give us a bunch of different options. Then you have to click over here to see more payment options. Then we scroll down here and we're right here. Perfect. BitPay checkout provided by BitPay allows you to accept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency payments. You click over here to click connect. And then very simple. You have to just get an API token, put it in here, then click connect. And it's really that simple. Now, the thing that you need to do next is to set up a BitPay account. Welcome to BitPay.com. So this is going to be our payment processor and our merchant accounts. And so to get started, it's simple. You click on the button that says get started. All right. So it's going to say welcome to BitPay personal or business. We want to open a business account because we want to be able to accept cryptocurrency payments. So go ahead and click on business and then click on continue. Next, you're going to have to create your business account, put in your organization name, your first and last name, country of residence, your yearly revenue, email address, password, and then click on create accounts. Okay, so once you create your account, you're going to be looking at this dashboard. You have three things to do. First one is to confirm your email, then get verified, then add settlement information so you can actually accept cryptocurrency payments or uh, your checking account if you don't want to accept cryptocurrency payments, but you just want to enable it so people could pay you in Bitcoin, then gets transferred to your checking account, whatever. Anyways, the first one is to confirm your email. So go ahead, check your email. You should have something from BitPay that says verify your email address. Click on confirm email and there you go. So that's all you have to do. Next is to get verified. So you actually have to verify your business for basic payment processing. So go ahead and click on that. Next, you simply have to fill out your verification information. So please put in your legal name of a business, your business address, your contact phone number, your uh, beneficial owner, which means beneficial owner, someone who owns 25% or more of the legal entity. So if you're a sole proprietor, that means you. So put in your first name, last name, date of birth. Yes, you have to put in accurate information. This is a merchant account. You're going to want accurate information for tax purposes because once you start earning a significant income, this is going to be very beneficial and helpful. Just help you stay on top of your accounting. Anyways, go ahead and fill out this page and then click on continue. Okay, so once you verify your information, they'll review your verification information and give back to you shortly via email. Next is to add settlement information. So let's click on this. Okay, so over here, we can add a settlement currency. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so currency and location. So select the currency you'd like to receive in your settlement and the country of your bank location. Okay, so you have a bunch of different options. So you can accept dollars, euros, etc. Or you can come over here and click a specific cryptocurrency. So for example, uh, maybe you want to get paid in Ethereum and I want everything to be transferred and converted into Ethereum and then sent to like a, an account with BlockFi, for example. You can go ahead and do that over here. Or maybe you just want to allow people to pay in cryptocurrency, but you still want to get paid in United States dollars. You can go ahead and do that. Then so select that and then click on the local, then come down here and fill out the bank accounts information. Now, if you come over here and say, I choose something like, we'll just say, uh, let's say, okay, we'll just say Bitcoin. And so I understand that cryptocurrencies are 
not reversible, understand the terms of use. Then right down here, you would just put in your wallet information. So whichever one you choose to do, whether or not it's your checking account or it's an account with a like a CFI network like BlockFi or uh, the Celsius network, whatever it is you're using, uh, just go ahead and fill that out. And now. finally, once we confirm our email, we verified our information for our business. We've added settlement information. We just have to do additional verification. So click on this button that says complete verification. Now we have tier two and tier three. Now, if you're like, well, what, what's tier one? There's no tier one. So there's tier two, tier three, and there's actually tier four. Now, approve volume in order to raise your daily processing limits. We require additional information to verify your identity and your business. You can apply to raise your approved sales at any time. And so this allows you to uh, process up to $10,000 daily, half a million annually, and tier three is $100,000 daily and $5 million annually. It will take five business days for a legal team to verify the documentation that you have to submit and to process more than $100,000 a day. That's a whole separate thing. So if we click over here to apply to tier two, it's pretty standard stuff. So you have to have a live website and actual products available for sale. So you're going to have to demonstrate and show your Wix website that already exists, a valid government uh, business ID, tax ID, et cetera, incorporation, organization documents, or business registration documents. So for example, if you have an LLC, there you go. Then a uh, principal director owner's photo identification. So take a picture of your driver's license, for example, or your passport and send it in. And then proof of current physical business address. Then you click on this apply button and it's going to walk you through the process of just uploading all of this information. And then everything's going to be reviewed. And it's really that simple. It's like applying for any other type of account. And an overview of the tier requirements. Tier two is what we just reviewed. Your legal business name, business address, actual website with products for sale, incorporation documents, uh, photo verification, identification, proof of current physical address. Now, tier three is all of the above, plus three months of business bank statements or a letter of good standing from the bank, not older than 90 days. For tier four approval, you just need a tier three approval and an enhanced review with BitPay risk management. Finding your API key for Wix. So as we covered in the very, very beginning with Wix, it's very simple. You just navigate to your settings, find where you can input the API key for BitPay, click save. That's it. So where do you get your <laughs> API key when you're in BitPay? Simple. So you have to actually have an approved account once everything is approved, which takes about five business days or so, click on payment tools, come down here to where it says API tokens. Let's open up this page. Now, right over here, we have approved tokens, which you don't have any. You're going to have to click over here to add in a new token, then token label, point of sale, required authentication, and then add token. And so it's really that simple. So we can just put in test. And now if I click on add token, it's going to say business verification required. So you have to just finish the verification process, you have to wait until everything is approved, which takes again, five business days or so. But it's really that simple. So you just add a token, you'll get the information on this page, then copy and paste it over into your Wix settings in order to accept cryptocurrency payments. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on how to accept cryptocurrency payments with your Wix e-commerce website. Now, one question I usually get whenever I make any type of these cryptocurrency payment tutorial videos is like, what happens on the back end? Well, you're creating a merchant account with BitPay. So when people pay with Bitcoin, Litecoin, whatever currency they choose to use, you can either get paid in that specific currency itself and then transfer it off to your own wallet, or you can have it be converted into fiat currency, which you can then deposit into your checking account, or you can choose some mix of the two. Okay, so you don't have to accept one or the other. It's totally up to you. Anyways, I'll leave it there. My name is David from WebsiteCreatePro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.